Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Panda and I bring you blockchain gaming and crypto related content. If this is something for interest you, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I would really really appreciate it. In this video I will be talking about the Sandbox game and will be bringing you a series of videos on Vox Edit, which is free to download from the Sandbox site. Link will be in the description to check that out. Vox Edit is the software used to create the voxel assets. A little bit more on Sandbox. So the Sandbox game is a metaverse on the Ethereum blockchain. They have their own currency, which is Sand. Definitely check that out because most, most everything will be done within Sand. Their land buying is in Sand. Buying NFTs on their marketplace will be done with Sand. So definitely check that out. The metaverse isn't live yet, but there are still things you can do within Sandbox. One of those is using Vox Edit. Right now, only pre-approved artists like myself and people partaking within the game jams. One game jam has just finished, so congratulations on the winner, which I believe is Voxel Blaze. So well done to you. These people can upload the voxel assets made within Vox Edit to the in-game marketplace. Not all of the assets in the marketplace are NFTs, so if they don't have a sand price allocated to them, you can just click that little plus sign and it'll add it into your inventory and you can use those in your game experiences. However, if an artist chooses to create that into an NFT and you have not purchased it, you will still be able to use it within your um, experiences because you've already added it to your inventory. You'd not be able to use it for game experiences that you've uploaded to the metaverse. You can also use the Game Maker software where you can build your own games for the sandbox. You can upload them to the experiences section for anybody to be able to play. However, if you wish to upload them to the metaverse when it becomes available, you will need land. Now, you will either need your own land or don't worry, if you don't have land, you will be able to rent somebody else's land. Not sure on rent prices, I assume it will be negotiated between landowner and the person making the game wanting to rent it. And you'll be able to place your game on their land. The assets made within Vox Edit can be sold as NFTs as well, like I mentioned earlier. The earning aspect of the game is selling your NFTs, rent out the land you own, buying and reselling land. So they have land sales where it's just a small section of the map will open up and you can buy a land. They sell out very, very quickly. If you've made a game, some of the options to make money from that is making a fee to open up your game for somebody to be able to enter it. You can have an NFT act as a key to unlock a game. So if you've created something, you've got it up as an NFT on the marketplace, then somebody can purchase that and it can act as a, a key to unlock a game experience that you've also created. Earning as a player, I'll just mention one aspect and that is you could uh, play like a battle royale where there's a fee to enter so everybody pays something, I don't know, I'm using arbitrary numbers, but 10 sand, so 5 players, 10 sand each and the winner will take a piece of that prize with a certain percentage going to the person who's made the game as well. Both Vox Edit and Game Maker are completely free to use and there will be a link in the description for you to go uh, check those out as well as all the socials for uh, Sandbox, so their Discord, Twitter, YouTube, all of that as well as my own down in the description. With those being completely free to use, you can definitely practice and improve your skills and you can even visit the creator fund and apply to be an artist for the sandbox as well as they as they are looking for artists a lot of the time now for what i am going to be showing you within this series let me take you over to vox edit so this is vox edit this is the home page when you open up we got the news right here so the first thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to make a model. So in the modeler, 
I'll show you. This is where we make just one type of asset. So like our window. So this is a very simple model. There are more complex models, which is where we'll make a bunch of little models in here. And I'll be showing you all of this. More complex would actually be putting a bunch of models all together. So each of these down this side are all single models from the model side that we've imported to the animator. And this is a complex model that we've created here. There are no animations on this. It's just a complex one. I will also be showing... So the first one will be showing you how to create models. And then in the second video, I will be showing you how to import those over to the animator and set up a rig. So I'll be showing you how to move all of those into, into this and set up a rig. What I will be doing is I'm taking inspiration from this that I've made. And what I'll be showing you in the first one, we will be creating one of these cavern toilets that I've made here. But I want to make one animated and separate from all of this. So we'll be making this with a bucket. So the toilet will be the toilet will be one model. The bucket will be another model, as well as the water that's in the bucket and the water that's going to flow out of the bucket. And I will then show you how to move all of that into this. And then I will be showing you how to do animations. It will be a very simple animation. So the video of moving everything onto a rig and setting it up is either going to be in with the model one or it will be a part of the animation one. It depends how long the model video takes. The third video will be me showing you how to do very simple edits to the templates, which is choosing one of these guys. And we're just going to do some very simple editing on it. We're not going to be doing any animation editing because that is more advanced, which I will do a video on at a later date, going into more detail on how to unlock these templates to be able to do full on um, extra animations and add your own to these. But that is a more advanced section. If you would like to see that sooner, then please let me know. But yeah, so the first thing, first video, we're going to be doing everything on the modeler. And then we'll be moving over to the animator, showing you how to set up and how to rig and animate an asset. The next one will be showing you how to do simple edits to the templates. And hopefully that will be enough to get you started as a beginner. And I will look into doing a more advanced series as well, going into a little bit more detail, doing some harder bits and pieces. Let me know down in the comments if you are excited to see this little series. What one are you most wanting to have some information on? If there is anything you would like me to cover, maybe you've had some issues with Vox Edit or completely new and would like me to talk you through some more, then please do let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button. Always, always like that like button being smashed. Wherever you are in the world, have a good morning, afternoon, evening. Goodbye.